Hey guys! It's Nick here and this is my Linux experiment. And in today's video I'd like to talk to you about Office Suites. I know it's not the most exciting of topics and I know most of you will already know about LibreOffice, uh, but I'd like to uh, have a little chat to, with you about uh, what Office Suites are available on Linux. So, of course, the first contender is LibreOffice, which is free software, free to download, uh, nicely maintained and updated, and with a uh, whole possibilities of uh, presentation. So you can go for the ribbon, like Microsoft Office, but you can also go for standard toolbars, uh, some nice options there. Uh, you can go for different styles of a ribbon tabbed uh, interface, so without tabs, with tabs. You can go to uh, this and get some more compact tabs with a menu bar, so you can really customize it to your liking. Uh, it includes uh, a lot of uh, programs. Uh, it includes, of course, a word processor, which is called Writer, but you will also get Calc, which is a spreadsheet program, Draw, which is a uh, drawing program, Impress, which is for presentations, and LibreOffice Math, which is uh, for making uh, mathematic form formulas. And you can also install LibreOffice Base, which is a database uh, ac access-like uh, management, uh, database management system. So it's fully featured, uh, it's nice and free, uh, and well, it's compatible with most, mostly every single format, uh, every single document format that has ever been created with more or less success, but the Microsoft Office files are open pretty nicely, and, uh, and uh, also some older formats like the WordPerfect Office, etc., are also uh, included, and you can, of course, uh, save in uh, the open document format which has been uh, spearheaded by uh, LibreOffice. So of course there are a few drawbacks to using LibreOffice. It's a pretty heavy program, can have some performance problems on a few systems, and it doesn't look quite native. Uh, you see the menus here look a bit out of place sometimes. Uh, so a few menus look really native to Linux, so the integration still needs some work. But basically it's your go-to Office suite. Uh, you can also install a WordPerfect Office, uh, or WPS I think. Uh, I don't know, it's maybe not WordPerfect, but it's WPS Office, which is I think a Chinese Office suite, uh, which is in alpha version for Linux. The latest one has been updated I think in June 2017, but it looks a lot like Microsoft Office, so you won't be lost here. I think the menu disposition is mostly the same as in Microsoft Office, it's pretty much a standard copy. Uh, you will get your tabs, you will get your uh, menu here that allows you to open, edit, etc. Uh, you really won't be lost there. Uh, you can also switch the UI to some themes, so if you want to use a black theme, you can uh, by restarting the program. If you go to Rider, WPS Rider, it's going to be with a black theme now. So you can pretty much use it however you want. It's not free software though, it's free to use, you can download it for free. Uh, but it's not open source or free software, so you have to know that. It's fully featured, uh, it's compatibility with Microsoft Office Documents, which is sadly the gold standard of Office Suites, is uh, still pretty good. Uh, you can open mostly every file without being afraid of losing anything. It also includes some uh, Microsoft fonts or equivalents, so the Calibri font, uh, etc. So it's a really good, uh, it's a really good uh, contender, and for an alpha it's pretty stable. Uh, if you want to go a little bit further down the rabbit hole, you can go to SoftMaker Office, which I think is a German uh, software maker, and you can choose the disposition, of course. It only provides three programs, which are TextMaker for uh, word processing, PlanMaker for spreadsheets, and Presentations for uh, presentations, of course. Uh, the same as uh, WPS Office, which has Writer, Presentation, and Spreadsheets. Pretty easily named. So. TextMaker, uh, SoftMaker Office in general is a good proposition, but it's not that great uh, looking. So you have, of course, the nice ribbon interface, which is a nice copy of Microsoft Office as well. Uh, pretty much the same standard fare here, same disposition of tabs, uh, same options there. But as you can see, apart from the tabs, it looks a little bit rough. Uh, the scroll bars are weird, uh, some of the menus don't look quite right on Linux, they're not that native. So it's a good proposition, but it is not free software and it is not free to use. You can have a trial version for 30 days, but you will need to uh, cough up at least 70 bucks for the Linux versions, I think, 70 euros, so it might be closer to, uh, to $90 if you're in the United States, 80 to $90. So this is a, a nice proposition and of course you get some commercial support which you will not get with uh, LibreOffice because it's a community-driven project. 
but uh, I would stick with uh, LibreOffice uh, personally because I think it's uh, it's a better proposition, uh, being free and all. And uh, well, for my uses, it's uh, it's way more than enough. Uh, if you are on KDE, you can also try your hand at Caligra Office, which is a native KDE program. So Caligra Suite. Uh, it includes a lot of different applications like Brain Dump for notes, Flow for diagrams, Carbon for vector drawing, KXE for databases, Plan for Gantz diagrams, Stage for presentations, Sheets for spreadsheets, and Words for word processing. And as you can see, if we open one of these apps, it looks really native to KDE, so standard uh, KDE icons and standard look. So I think this is the uh, KDE 4 look, but of course it will look native if you use KDE and another theme. So that's a plus. It's also free software, well maintained, and its compatibility is, I think, a little worse than uh, than LibreOffice, but still working pretty well for your basic day-to-day uh, -day writing. And if you only write in one Office suite, uh, you can pretty much pick Caligra Office uh, with eyes closed. Uh, and then you have, of course, Microsoft Office, which does not run natively on Linux because there is no Linux version. There is a Windows and Mac OS version. You can run the Windows version on Wine, but it's gonna be a pain because the installer doesn't work natively. It's, uh, it does just does not run and install. And uh, if you copy the files from a Windows installation, you might manage to run a few programs, but with such hiccups and performance problems, I don't think it's gonna be worth your while. If you really depend on Microsoft Office compatibility, uh, you I think you'd be better off using Office Online or something like Google Docs, which I think imports pretty well. But, uh, but uh, you will not find a good proposition using Microsoft Office Online on Linux. So if you're using a day-to-day -day, uh, Office Suite and you do not need compatibility with other people, you can pretty much choose whichever Office Suite you want. I will, for myself, stick with LibreOffice because uh, I like the free software aspect of it. And uh, since I'm not running KDE, Caligra Office would make me install a ton of libraries that I don't need. So I will stick with, with LibreOffice and I will keep experimenting with their interface just to see what it looks like and uh, how it evolves. And I pretty much like that project uh, in its entirety. But if you really need uh, to exchange files with other uh, other OS and uh, other Office suites, I would recommend going with uh, WPS Office, even though it's an alpha, or uh, coughing up the box for SoftMaker Office, which is a little better supported commercially, and uh, you will get some help if you run into troubles. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for Office Suites. Uh, I hope you learned a few things along the way. And, uh, well, don't hesitate to subscribe or like if you enjoy the content. I'll keep trying to post uh, elementary OS and general Linux uh, videos uh, twice a week. And uh, I also do some gaming videos uh, from time to time, but that's not my main focus at the moment. So, well, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.